Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to test React using Jest and Enzyme. At first, let's go to our browser and search for jest.js.io. Inside that, select Tutorial React and uh, let's get started with the setup. Uh, we need to actually uh, install a couple of packages and the first one uh, is React Test Render. So let me copy the command and paste it here. After the installation was successful, okay, let me clear the command line. We need to install the other one, which is for the Babels. Let me copy this one as well and paste it here. Okay, and Babel is uh, installed as well. Uh, but we also need to create a config file for Babel and uh, write this code inside of it. So let me copy the uh, code and create a file inside the root directory called babel.config.js okay and paste this code here all right that's all and the next step is to actually go to our dom testing scroll down okay yeah right here and Let's install testing library slash react as well. Okay, copy it. And it's the same thing with enzyme, of course. You can install enzyme instead. Okay. And the next step is to actually create a component so we can test it. So let's go to our components directory and create a new file like just test.js. Okay, let me paste uh, the sample component we just had there. Okay, copy it and paste the code. All right, uh, it's a label that works just like a text and just like a checkbox, and we can actually uh, turn it on and off. That's all. In order to uh, make some test cases inside source, we need to uh, create a directory called double underscore test double underscore. Okay, and inside this test, we write our test files and it's better to be the same name with the component. So let's write test, uh, let's write just test and the suffix is dot test dot JS. All right. And here we can write actually whatever test case we want. I think we have a sample test case. Yeah, let me copy this and paste it here. Okay. Remove the comments and make sure you specify the uh, target file with the right name and path unless your tests uh, will not actually find the file and the function. It's inside components, just test. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go to our package.json and uh, we need to actually add a script uh, for a test like this, it should be test and it should be equal to just simply add the comma and save the changes. Now uh, inside your command line, run npm run test and the tests will be run everything inside this directory. And as you can see, they have been passed. That's all. Thanks for watching.